Hello guys, this is Nina from Northern Sweden. Uh, I think I'm sideways here, but I hope you will be okay with that. I hope you still can see what I'm doing. Uh, I am a very proud member of a Facebook group called Marami's Creative Cafe. Marami's Creative Cafe. Um, it is started by Marta on Marami's Small Art. You might find her here on YouTube. She uh, does a lot of great tutorials that are very inspiring and very creative. Uh, so you might want to check that out. She, she also have a lot of challenges and so on. It, it's really fun. I, I love being a member. Now this Facebook group is very supportive and very inspiring and everyone's posting what it, they are crafting at the moment and so on. And if you need help with something, you can just ask and someone will, you know, know what to do. Uh, so I posted a picture of this matchbox. As you can see, it's a matchbox. Just a regular matchbox with the matches in. It's a new matchbox. And I got a, quite a lot of questions wondering how I did this. And <laughs> I had a bit of a screw up today because I was going to show you. So I, I prepped this box and I was going to show you. And I did this really great tutorial. It took an hour 20 minutes or something like that the full tutorial and um, then I checked the phone and realized that it hadn't filmed it had stopped halfway through uh, I don't know why it won't focus and do what I want it to do okay so there um, so anyway I was gonna do this one with you and I thought I did but oh well technology uh, the thing is, the memory card was full on the phone, so I cleaned up a bit of memory now, so hopefully it will work. Anyway, these were my, this was my last matchbox. These are the long matches, as you can see. Uh, not that it matters. Uh, I'm just going to show you the technique on how to do this. And I was talking to a woman earlier. No, actually, it was yesterday I was talking to this woman, and she wanted to buy one of these matchboxes. And I said, uh, they, these are already taken, so um, if you want to, I can do something else with with this structure. Not structure, I keep saying structure, I mean texture. <laughs> if I say structure, you will know I mean texture, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I keep mixing those words. Uh, with the same texture uh, and the eyes and everything, but I can do something else. And she said, well, I want something on the wall. So I suggested I would make it on um, an old cutboard like I have done with this sign. It's an old plastic cut, uh, cutting board that you know you cut your bread on and so on. And this I uh, got an old and you know it was kind of disgusting. So I made a sign up to my friend with it. So I suggested that but she said no it's too big. And then I've been doing a lot of, I don't know how the sun will be up with this, but I hope it will be okay. Then I've been doing a lot of these, and these are CD. Uh, and these are just backgrounds, I'm not done with these, I just started them. Uh, so I said, well, I can make a CD, oops, CD size. Um, so, why won't it focus? Is it the white color? Maybe? Okay. Uh, my my table was so mucky that I put this little tablet under and it won't seem to focus. Um, so she said, yeah, that would be great to have this size. Now I have a lot of these audiobooks. With, I mean, there are a lot of CDs in one book. And I got them from a friend of mine and some of the CDs were scratched. So you can't listen to them. And uh, therefore she gave them to me and said, oh, you can probably use them for some of your hobby stuff. And I said, yay, giddy. I was really happy about that because I had so many ideas. I still have. Um, so I'm going to show you what I do with these CDs. And I'm going to teach you. Well, I think you know already, but I'm going to show you how I did this. Now, this won't really be a tutorial. I'm more inspirational, but I'm going to try a tutorial. This will be my very first tutorial, really. Uh, and this is the first time that I've been able to work with both hands. And that's because I managed to put the phone up. <laughs> uh, I, I have a few clips on Facebook, but I've been filming with, with one hand and creating with one. And it's just 
it's just um <laughs> i think i have to show you where the phone is okay i i was watching this tutorial with uh, yvonne williams and she was showing everyone how she had put her phone so that people can see what she's doing and she's very skilled by the way if you get a chance check out yvonne williams from uh, back to earth creations she's the one that taught me how to make these eyes um, and she showed me that she had put this measuring stick in the in the bookshelves and clamped it down and then clamped the phone on that so i kind of used that as an inspiration so i'm gonna show you where my phone is i'm just gonna unclip it here okay so i have this old lamp uh, uh, lampshade i think it's called and then i have these sort of rubber bands that are from this hairband that i bought on dollar store and i all the other hairbands i used this um Strings and the leaves and the flowers. This is the only one that's left because it was so cute on my dog. Uh, and I cut all of these uh, stretch bands off, and now I cut two, tied two of them there. And this stick is an old, um, you know, there should be hooks on here to to hang your clothes on. And then I clamp the phone down with this. Yay! <laughs> So I can't adjust the height or anything, so you just bear with me. You're a bit close and you're sideways, but at least I can show you. Hang on a second, let me move my phone a bit. So, like that, maybe? Is that okay? Okay, so what do you say we start? Yeah, I think so. As you can see, I prepped some. Because I figured if one if one person wants to buy it, well, maybe more. And I always need money. I'm always broke. Okay. I'm going to put this... Oh, actually, I'm going to talk about these first. As you can see, I hope, these are eyes. And I uh, made them like dragon eyes, sort of. A little bit of fantasy eyes. See if I can focus. There we go. Like I said, there is a tutorial with Yvonne Williams. It's called Dragon Eye, Eye of Sauron tutorial, I think. Dragon Eye of Sauron. Yeah, I think so. Um, that is a really great tutorial. Now she used the glass clear, the clear glass. <laughs> <laughs> speaking backwards here the clear glass um, domes sort of and paints on the back now I don't have those I have these these are the ones you have in the flower pots and I only have green but it works I use for these I just used black um, dark purple blue and pink and silver I used for this I'm having trouble with the focus here. I think it's the white beneath that is doing this. Okay. So, you're going to need, if you're going to want to do the same as I do, uh, you're going to need three eyes. So, I'm just going to pick out three eyes. Let's just take those three. Okay, we put all that this to the side. I've been painting more eyes today because I use quite a lot of eyes, actually. Uh, okay. Okay, let's pull up the sleeve and start. Now, take a CD. And actually, these covers are pretty great to use um, for your paint as a palette. And after the paint has dried, either you can just peel it off like this. Or you can use them for something else. You know, just put the more paint on top or whatever. So these were pretty great for as a palette okay uh, so i'm putting this to the side i won't need any that now the cd i'm gonna uh, rough up this side i'm gonna use this side and not this side uh, and i'm just gonna use a little bit of oops sandpaper as you can see from the red i've used it a couple of times and just scrub it off so it the surface get a bit roughed up i'm gonna move away from the phone to do that because it's quite sounds quite a lot so it's 
quite kind of noisy. So I'm just going to move me for a few seconds. Like that. Doesn't need to be more than that. Just a little bit so things will stick to it. And you can use the famous baby wipes. Um, I look at, I watch a lot of Marta's movies and she used baby wipes quite a lot. And uh, they had a sale on dollar store last time I was there. So I actually bought a whole bunch of baby wipes. Okay. Now I want to get rid of this hole. Now I realize you can use the hole because you will get, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You can get some sort of transparent light behind, but I painted these black on the back to sort of make the colors pop a bit more. So I want to cover the, the middle section like I did on the, all the others, all the other CDs I covered. Um, and I do that quite easily. Now I use gloss heavy gel medium. Now you can use any kind of gel medium or you can use white glue or you can use glue stick won't work it, it comes off at least for me it does a glue stick it comes off but I'm gonna use this one this time now as I said you don't have to use CDs for this this is just a little inspiration a little um, thing of how you can do if you want to then I have this old book that I ripped up pages from and I'm gonna use some of these pages like that I thought I had loose pages, but I cleaned too much. And I'm going to use this one. See, I just wipe it off a bit. So, and I just on there. I just, you know what I mean with. Usually it says when I press, so I'm kind of surprised it didn't. Now the only sound was me. <laughs> But with my mouth, I might add, not smelly. Uh, okay, something like that. And then I put this on. And I make sure it covers the whole, I can put it a bit more to that side. I make sure it covers the whole, but it's not enough. So I'm gonna put on one more. And I googly 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 smooshy 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 not smooshy okay and I'm actually gonna put one more top of here I'm gonna just rip off a little bit hang on now you can take like how many paper parts you want and you can use the CDs for painting on you can use them for postcard I actually got one a CD as uh, in the mail one day because she had uh, on the other side, on one side she had painted, and on the other side she had glued a piece of paper and wrote my name and address and a little message. So just like a postcard. And she sent it on the mail. I really love that one. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside to dry because you can clear cut the edges now, but I have done that a few times in the past. And I'm a very clumsy person, as you can see. Mm. <laughs> um, when I cut the edges, I have a tendency to pull away the paper. So I le usually let them dry like this. I just smoosh down a couple more times. So I let that dry. Then I cut the edges and I have something that looks like that. And now we're starting to come to the fun part. Now for the, mm, kind of sticky, now for the fun part, uh, we're going to make the texture. It looks so dark. It's not that dark in reality, is it? Hmm, I don't know. Is it? See, there, now it doesn't look so dark. Okay, so now we're going to start with this. Now for the first box I did, I just put all the... Uh, all the plaster on at once and not plaster oh, mm. wood filler I think 
uh, on at once and it was really tricky to get the eyes to stay in place and so on so I come up with a new plan that actually works a lot better now I tried this a couple of times and I have two sorts you can probably use 3d paste or something you just need something that you can make this sort of uh, marks in without it it floating together and becoming flat or floating over the edge you want something quite um, that stays in place that you can make sort of marks in it doesn't float together uh, and I've, I've been using wood filler and I've been using wall plaster um, this is for indoor use both are actually for indoor use this is for acrylics and this is just I don't know some cheap stuff well actually both um, let's see yeah, it's just says that is this for wallpapers, nothing special. Yeah. Anyway, uh, this one is a bit thicker, and this one is a bit looser, um, softer maybe is the word I'm looking for here. Um, and this one takes a bit longer to dry. If you, especially when you do the second layer, that is a lot thicker then this takes a lot longer to dry so we're gonna go with this one right I think that's a good way to go one two okay let's do this one let's do the no actually we're not because we're gonna use that for that one I'm gonna do this one with this one because it can dry overnight for me oops that was the Actually, these are really cheap. Uh, I buy them less than, well, I think about three euros each. And there's quite a lot in them. So now I just smooch it out like this. And I just want a thin, thin layer all over it. Not too thin, but there's no point in going too thick either. Unless that's what you want to go for, but you just... Uh, in this stage you just want the eyes to stick in one place really that's what you want this time okay so now I have sort of it doesn't have to be too even I mean you're gonna put on a lot of bubbly stuff and so on I'm just gonna put this to the side and then you take your eyes and you place them where you want to have them now I don't want them too symmetrical so I'm gonna put one down here and I press down a bit so you can see I press down so it did that little glob it sort of comes up a bit can you see that if you see that focus yeah you see that little that it comes up yeah so if it doesn't do that then it's not thick enough of a layer really uh, and I make sure since I have oval pupils in the middle here uh, I want them all the same direction so I don't want one this way and one uh, that way or you know I want the same direction all of them now this is what I do if you want something else you do something else I'm just telling you what I do I'm just inspiring a little bit here at least I'm trying to I hope I am am I maybe maybe not I'm gonna put this one here and I wanna put if you get plaster on it, it doesn't matter, or putty or whatever it's called. This one's called wood filler anyway. It says it right there. And I think I will have, I'm gonna push it in a bit there. There, okay. Then you put it aside to dry, or if you have this drying thingy, you can use that. Now, the thing with um, uh, these softer, uh, smoother sort of wall filler wood filler I'm sorry wall filler wood filler um, when this one dries it tends to crack a little bit and I'm gonna show you oops I'm gonna wipe my hands just a little bit here first I'm really good at getting smushes, smudges everywhere okay um, so for this one I use that let's see if we can make it focus you can see the plastic's cracked like that here. Do you see that? Does the camera pick it up? Yeah, so it cracked here. And when you're doing wood, that's okay. 
that's an okay thing to happen. Um, but if you're going to do something else, like use it with a stencil or so on, you might uh, want to put a thinner layer. Because it's when you put the thicker layer that these cracks happen. Okay. Oh my, I'm chatting on here. I'm going to just wipe a little, little of this mess away. I'm really good at making a mess. I think that's my top talent. Okay, so now we have this. It has dried. Oh, yeah, sure. This is another one. Check out that eye. Check out that eye. I love it. I'm so proud. Ah, it's so much fun. I really recommend you watch. Um, instead of buying your own eyes, you can. I mean, you can buy eyes in craft shops and everything. But I really recommend you doing your own because it's so much fun and it's a lot easier than it looks. So really check out Yvonne Williams' uh, tutorial on that. I uh, will put a link in. If I forget, please tell me. Okay. So for this one, for the bottom here, I used this one. So I'm going to use this one for a top too. And let's see if I can get... Now everything wants to get stuck in the wrong side of this. And here it comes. And uh, the big glob of this. Now, the good part is, it doesn't matter if you get this on the eyes, because the eyes are glass, and they're quite easy to clean. Same thing when you paint it later. It's, it's okay if you get paint all over them, because you can always wipe it off. Use a baby... <laughs> Use a baby wipe. I'm off camera. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so I just sort of smooch it out with the palette knife. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. I want the eyes to be scene i didn't mean to cover it completely all day when i've been doing this i've been putting on too little and now it's no it's perfect i thought i was gonna say that i put on too much but nope it's perfect as you can see i'm using quite a thick layer um and i'm making sure i get it all out to the edges okay now, I can't leave it like that. I mean, that this won't be a forest or a, a tree or anything. I want to move some of it to make sort of an eye shape. Also want to take out the eye here. Take out the eye. Sounds like I'm going to poke it, poke it out. But I didn't mean that. Uh, I hope you can see what I'm doing. The lighting is getting kind of weird. I have bright light in the ceiling i have bright lights and all over and it's still now i'm checking the which way because i'm turning this quite a lot when i work so i have to check the pupil all the time so i know which way it is if it's that way or if it's that way so i start to smooch a little bit maybe i have a little bit too much on this i don't know we'll see so I sort of making a little bit. Now I don't want too eye shapey. Right now I think it's a bit too much on eye shape. It's okay because I have more to do. So if I use too much, party, either you can just let me show you. You can just put some of it back in here, just like that. It has a very wide opening, so it's quite easy to put it back. Or you can just put it on the next CD that you're doing. Because you're going to find this quite fun, actually. Because you get a really great result with very little work. I think the hardest part is actually to paint the eyes. That's the most time-consuming, I think. I've been painting a lot of eyes today, and it took several, several hours. Um, I'm off this way, and I'm going to make sort of an eye shape. Now, I... I don't remember if I told you about my little oopsie earlier today with the memory. Yeah, I did. I did tell you that. Where the memory card is full of phone. So I'm kind of... Um, I've been doing a lot of these today. Because I actually tried three times to show you how to do this. And each time I talked for over an hour. Each time. And uh, I did a lot better job than I did this time with uh, wood filler, wall filler, 
wall plaster, whatever you want to call this, putty, some of them. And I did a lot better job at it than other times. Of course. Uh, I keep having this circus music in my head and it's quite annoying. It goes like da 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 la la da 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 la la da da da. It's quite annoying to have that in your head. Now I want to make a little. You want to make it look like it's growing there, and you don't need a really smooth surface because you're gonna make a lot of of um, different texture to it anyway. Yay, I said it right. I said texture, not structure. Let's see if I can do this. I'm left-handed and I... Oh, that's it. I'm left-handed and all of a sudden I'm doing this with my right hand. Of course it feels wrong. Of course it doesn't turn out right. Let me just swap hands here a bit. Okay, now we're talking. Okay. Let's see can do let me just check the pupils as you can see they're going from there to there so I hold it like this you can you can have it down here too but I prefer to have it in my hand I feel like I have more control of what I'm doing and if you feel like when you're moving uh, the spatula not the spatula the palette knife around if you feel like it's just getting stuck you can dip it in a little oopsie sorry about that <laughs> i'm sorry about that here i am moving everything around hang on a second the phone is coming off hang on there now it's clamped on again um what was i saying yeah you can put a little bit water on your knife not knife well sort of um, you can smooth it a lot better if you want to, but you don't, again, you don't have to make it very smooth. I'm just trying to make it thicker where the eyes, where the eyes are and make sort of uh, indentations in between the eyes. Uh, 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 okay. Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna put this away and away we go hey ho silver I'm oh, sorry about that um, so mess is cleaned off sort of almost okay so now to the fun part now we try to make it look like wood wood is a woodpecker so sort of. now um like I said earlier, you can use any type of surface to do this on. You can use a cutting board, you can use a jar, you can use, um, I mean, a Pringles jar would be kind of cool to do this on, uh, on the sides and so on. And my feeling is that if you're using a smaller object, you should use a finer point to do the uh, texture with. <laughs> almost structure there again yeah. and if you have a bigger thing you can use um, thicker uh, points to make the texture okay so I'm gonna start by I think I'm actually gonna use this now these are some of the things that I've been using to make different kind of texture it is old pieces of grass I just uh, you know outside uh, one second. I have this that I use when I when I craft, and I just take a piece of grass and use the bottom end. So this this is grass, and then I just take a couple of them. This time I only had two lying next to me. You can you can fold them, make more. It's okay. Everything's okay. And you just sort of hold them, and you just move it. You can do that. Or you can use this as a piece of um, actually from a bird cage. It's just a piece, piece of steel wire, and you can use that. Now let me check the pupils again. Yeah, that's up. So I'm gonna sort of do it this way. 
now uh, I want to I want it to look like it's um, these eyes are growing in the tree so you know when the branch is coming out the tree grain sort of goes around it so I want that happening here sort of um, okay and I've also used a toothpick and these this is actually my two favorite toothpick and this is the one that you test your cake or your potatoes and see if they're ready it's just a test stick and I like this because I don't know if you can see this uh, let me see if I do this yeah so you can see the end here is kind of flat so if I do this you can probably see huh, won't focus but you can see that it's kind of flat in the end and um, yeah like that so that means I have more more options this one so this and the toothpick are my two favorite tools to use okay so uh, I've seen a lot of people when they do wood they just pull straight lines and I don't think there's too many absolute straight lines so I always do these wobbly ones in the bottom and then I do the straight lines on top and you don't want to do all the way top to bottom you do just sort of a bit here and a bit there some of them from top to bottom and some of them you just go a bit of the way and now I'm not getting the ones that I'm going to show you I keep having that circus music in my head okay and sometimes you might want to let it set for a little bit before you do this part it just makes it a bit easier just a little bit easier and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some oopsie here okay so now I don't like that part it's too much then I just go in with this this time I think it's easier to wet it a little bit not too much because then the whole thing gets sort of runny and and you just smooth it smooth it smooth it over words are hard today words are really hard today okay like that and now I smooch it over so I can start over a bit and you can keep on doing this for as long as as the wood filler or the plaster or the potty or whatever you want to call it or if you use 3d paste or whatever you want to use for this as long as it's soft enough to let you you can keep on going keep going keep going keep going like that and you you see some of them are pressed down a bit harder and some of them I just do lighter and you can do as many or as little as you want it's up to you it's your creation oh this one becomes a little bit too much eye for me I'm gonna round it up a little bit okay and I also I kind of round the eyes you can do this when it's semi dry too if you want to but I'm just gonna get this little sort of let's see if I can show you this one has better let's see if I can show you come on focus focus okay um, do you see this this part here I sort of wanted to stick out a bit um, let me see how I'm gonna do this there you see this part here yeah that's what I'm trying to achieve you don't need that it's up to you it's you don't really need that but I kind of like that you can also do it when it's sort of dry because you just take your nail or something sharp oh it won't focus again yeah, take your nail or something sharp like this or or your palette knife or something and just scratch and then you get the same, same reaction same sort of like that and you don't need to clean the eyes at this stage but I find it kind of easier if I keep them at least semi clean clean up some of the stuff or it will get a bit too gunky it 
also helps me to see the pupils in the middle so see which way to turn it that's something and I'm gonna use a baby wipe This circus music won't shut up. It's very annoying. Do you get strange songs in your head when you craft? It's really annoying. And I sort of do this. Like that. Something like that, maybe? Times like this that I'm happy that I, for once, have a bit of nails, actually. Usually I have very short, short, short nails, but for now I have a little bit of nail here that I use, I put inside, um, so I get this tip and I use it to sort of scrub the eye, if you, can, if you understand what I mean, <laughs> nothing else. Like I said, you don't have to do it when it's wet, you can do this when it's dry it too and then there are less risk of you smudging like that okay i'm kind of happy with this you can leave you see i have these little parts sticking out here Let's see if we can make it focus yeah uh, you see i have these little parts you can take them off they will probably pop off anyway um so you can sort of smoothen the edges a bit if you want to Again, if you want to, this is your project, and depending on what kind of project you're using. If you're doing CDs like me, when you handle them, probably if they point pointed like that, you need to fix it. But it doesn't have to be completely smooth and perfect. It doesn't have to be. So there's the start. Now we're going to leave this to dry. How do you like it? Maybe I put it this way. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Ooh, I love the eyes. It's so much fun to do them and you can be really proud afterwards. So we set this to dry. Okay. Okay. Here's a dry one. Hey, I said I've, I said I've prepped stuff. Now this is dry and I want a bit more of this eye to be showing. So what I do is I just... Scrape it off a bit. I'm sorry if you can hear that annoying sound from the scratching. <coughs> sort of. I apologize. Mm -hmm. Like that. Something like that. <laughs> mm. So, something like that. And maybe a little bit more of this. I. As you can see, you can scrape it quite easily. You can use your palette knife too if you want to. But then you have to be... Oh, still gunky. Then you have to be a bit more... Oops, sorry about that. It's my ex-boyfriend actually. Something like that. Yeah. Um, and you can also, like I said, use the baby wipe. It will wet and the... The wood filler so when i use the baby wipe it the wood filler here gets wet more moist and wet and you can easily push it with your nail or just rub it with the baby wipe i don't know if you can see that like that hmm? okay so now this one has dry i'm gonna take out some of this gunk some of this texture Stuff. there okay now I'm still a mess but it's a bit better I'm gonna have some water I'm gonna have some oops not white black where's my black excuse me there it is some black and a brush I think I'm gonna use this one just used it it's okay and uh, now you want a rather stiff brush and you want this to be really dry because the black color um, you wanna you want it to get really deep down in, in every little nook and see you want it to really get down get down with it <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> um, you can use a smaller brush or something but use one that's kind of stiff 
Now I'm lazy, I'm using the big brush. Hang on, one sip of coffee, I feel like my voice is... Coffee! Coffee, coffee! Okay, now I have a very long... As you can see, the, this handle is quite long on this one, so I might hit the phone a bit. <laughs> I hope that's okay. Uh, so if you hear sort of a banging noise and the phone is jumping up and down, then you know what it is. It's only me painting. And I, I really press, not too hard, but I press and I sort of, I don't go like this. I really work it, work the paint. And again, this is glass, so you can do that with no problem. Just use a baby wipe and clean it. You can even clean it after it's dried a bit. Then it's less. Oops. <laughs> there. Um, I'm gonna move a little bit to the side here so I don't bang the phone too much. Um, where was I? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, and when you paint this, you wanna start with the black paint and really let it dry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why this one has such a long. I don't see the point in this. What's the point in having this long? I mean, if you hold mostly down here or some, or maybe up here, but there's still a lot left. Why? Please explain to me if you know. If you know why the handles on some paintbrushes are so long, please. <laughs> Banging the phone again. Sorry. Um, and I'll just make sure that I'm getting down everywhere. Now, I was taught one technique where you paint the whole thing first, and oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to move a little bit so I don't hit you too much, okay? Um, yeah, you paint the, the wood first. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> you paint the wood first. I'm going to twist it like that. You paint the wood first, okay? And then you go over with the black uh, acrylic. This is black acrylics, by the way. Did I say that? Black acrylics. I'm painting this with acrylics. Um, and then you go with, with black acrylic mixed with water and rub it in and then wipe it off. I think that's a harder way to go. I think this is a lot easier. Paint it black first. Make sure you get it in everywhere without covering. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep hitting the phone. So sorry. Okay, so now I'm wiping some of the excess off. No, no point in wasting material, right? Like that. Wipe it off. Okay, I think we're good. I'm gonna put this away. Bloop. And I'm actually. Now you can wait a bit with doing this. I'm just going to take the worst part of it off it so I can see which way is which. So I know where to do. So like that. And I got some. <sighs> that was clever, wasn't it? Yeah. Stab your nail in it and, and destroy it. That's great. Now, one thing to think about. When you use paint on this or water, it does get a little bit soft again. Just a little bit soft again. So be careful with nails and hard things. Okay, so now we painted this black. And we set it to the side to dry. I'm going to show you something else later. I just hope I remember. And I'm going to wipe the worst of it off. Like a... Yeah, I'm a very messy person, can you tell? It's like paint all over the place. We don't need the black. No, I don't think. Okay. So now it's a bit better. It's still black, but now we take... Uh, Martha from Mary Miss Morat taught me this trick to use baby wipes. Actually, I'm going to throw that one away because it had... And I let them dry, and then I reuse them to get as much paint on it as I can. And then use them for flowers and backgrounds. And you really want to see that tutorial because it's good, you don't have to throw everything away. So I actually leave them to dry 
this one you see I've, I've been wiping yellow paint and now when it's dry I can easily do this and I also have where's my water hmm okay I thought I had everything there it is One second. I'm using this old orchid mist uh, for this is just plain water inside makes it easy to clean and that means I also get more paint in my baby wipes so I actually have a lot of very very colorful baby wipes that I'm later gonna do flowers and stuff with okay so now we have painted our uh, this one's black and it's dry you can see I got some stuff on top of it this is actually not yeah I think I splashed some white paint on it earlier I've been painting a lot of stuff today uh, quite actually quite actually why did I say that okay so now we have the black on and now we're gonna go on with the other colors because as you saw <laughs> there it is on this one you can see there's a lot of different colors Let's see if you can focus yeah so you can see there's a lot of different colors on here and I actually used four different colors uh, kind of there and this is dark brown it's white background is not easy um, dark brown oh no it won't focus come on there it is dark brown sort of a reddish brown this is copper and that is gold see how much paint and gunk I get on my hands they were fairly clean when we started <laughs> I'm really hopeless uh, so that's the paint I'm gonna use hang on more coffee yum 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 okay and I use a brush um, for this I can use several different kind of brushes but I kind of like using uh, focus uh, stiffer brushes for for this and uh, now I don't need it to go down as much so I'm not gonna put a lot of paint on actually I'm gonna use it kind of dry just here where the white um, things has gotten on okay uh, here you can see actually hang on see if I can yeah here you can see I've used this other wall filler that is a lot uh, softer and here you can see it has cracked uh, on several places I think it's kind of cool when you do wood and it cracks like that how to get it to focus when it's so black yeah, you can see the cracks here do you see them yeah those are not made by me that is just this wood filler drying and I think that's kind of cool oops now I'll put it in oh, never mind focus okay thank you so I just go over any white spots that I see I go over with this darkest now I got that stuff in there. Oh, this tutorial is gonna be a mess just like me <laughs> I'm a very 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 mu messy person messy person oh my god and I keep getting the clowns on see I missed a few holes here uh, when it cracks like that it gets white in the bottom of the new brakes uh, quite a lot of brown on this actually yeah I was talking earlier about Ron Williams and I also talked about Marta I'm sorry Marta I can't remember your last name right now um, Marta is more is more um, doing a lot of paint and mixed media and such things while Yvonne Williams she makes jewelry wire wrapping cosplay um, polymer clay fairy houses uh, oh my god she does so many things and I love them both to bits and they are so different and I want to try everything they do and this technique, the eyes I got from Yvonne Williams. But this technique with the tree, I don't know where I have it. I have always had in my head that I wanted to do 
trees with eyes. And for the first time, I'm 43 years old. Now I'm finally doing it. So it's never too late. You've been thinking about doing something your whole life and all of a sudden you find yourself doing it. And it's a, I, let me tell you, it's a pretty awesome feeling. Okay, I'm done with the dark brown. Just wiping some of it off. I mean, I'm gonna, still going to use brown color, so I don't mind if it gets a little mixed. I think that's a bit too much. Huh? Now I'm doing a bit of sideways, very light. I don't press down now. I just do a little bit to get it on the top of the textures. I don't want it to go down too much. That's me. So I don't go this way. Um, because when I have the texture it goes this way, if I go this way, it will go down like it did there. Focus camera. There. You see it goes down. I don't like that too much. But that's me. If you want it down there, fine. Put it down there. It's okay. It's your project. And if you want to do this in some other type of colors or if you want to make a purple tree, do a purple tree. There are no rules. And if you make a oopsie and a boo boo, just keep going. You know, if you don't like what you're doing, I'm going to show you something. Might be a bit too close. Yeah. I have this canvas. I did it like, I wonder if I dated it. No, I didn't put a date on it. I did this canvas like, I don't know, very long time ago. I used decoupage to put this napkin on and it was too bright so I wanted lighting it up so I used the lid of my clothes bin no not clothes bin laundry bin and turned it upside down and just sprayed it and it looked like a spider web so I put a spider on there but I never really liked this so I'm just gonna I let it set because you know taste change over years so something that I focus Okay, thank you. Uh, something that I liked maybe when I was 17, I would hate today. And something that I loved three years ago, I may hate today. So, you know, taste change. So don't be too fast with, you know, saying, oh, I don't like this and change it. Um, unless you need the canvas, of course. But this one has been lying around for three years now. And I'm kind of annoyed with that painting. So I'm actually going to paint it over with the gesso and start over. Now I've been trying a lot of different techniques now. I've been looking at uh, YouTube quite a lot lately. And I feel like I'm done with the, with the light brown here. So I'm going to go over with the copper. And I sort of want to do this. As you can see, I'm leaving it quite... No, you can't see. The background is too white. Now, uh, I'm leaving it kind of very much black around the eyes to make them pop more it's not quite that <sighs> focus thank you <laughs> it's kind of, kind of getting annoying <laughs> that um so i'm leaving i'm not gonna go close to the eyes with the brown now since the other two brown colors are still wet they will mix a bit but i kind of like that because it gives me more depth and more colors. For some reason there's a white dot there. It's very annoying. I'm gonna do that. Okay. I'm not quite liking that, but anyway. You can also use a little bit of what not too much because then you wet the black paint too. You get all the paint off. So okay. A little bit more of the copper. I want it more like this. Okay, so I prefer to have it uh, a lot blacker around the eyes. And, uh, but that's up to you what you like. Maybe you prefer brighter color around the eyes and the tree itself a lot darker. Now I'm going to go on with the gold. And again, I'm just very lightly just... Tapping, I'm using a rather, not too much paint on, and I'm moving slightly sideways. And since I have such little paint on, you don't really get brush strokes. You just sort of color the top of the texture. 
and you get very little on it's it's easier to put uh, more color on than it is to put less color on did that make sense but I want all of the texture to be visible so I'm gonna put on a bit more oops a bit too strong there if you feel like it's too strong you can almost keep on moving a brush over the area and it's smoothing out because the other brown colors are still wet so it will I think I like that let me see can you see focus yeah kind of hard to get the right colors in the camera I think it's because the background is so white maybe I should put something else underneath just to see if I can make the colors pop something like that does it show maybe it shows better there and I'm gonna let this one dry so there you have it uh, usually I put a little, little bit of spray um, what's it called sort of fixative but for acrylics uh, lacquer glaze hmm. it's for acrylic anyway so, oops so out of focus I'm sorry about that I should look in the like that and uh, you can if you have like uh, this hole puncher before you even start this before when you just have the CD before you even start anything before you start the painting and the plastering and everything uh, that's when you make a hole up here now I'm gonna let everything dry and I'm still pondering whether I should put them double like that like that and uh, put some sort of hanger in between or if I should uh, just drill a hole and, and maybe glue some Either I put the same structure on the other side once this has dried and just make a wood structure on the, on the other side like I did on the matchboxes. The matchboxes I just put like this on the other side. So maybe do that. Or you can just do like I did on this sign here. I just glued on some fabric. Unfortunately I used a glue that came through and now visible looks like it's dirty it's just glue but that is just to not harm the door because it's gonna be hanging on the door so I put this on and, and nothing will happen to the door now and it won't be visible so maybe I'll put some fabric on the back or you know just something so there you go you see it was quite easy wasn't it I hope you like this and um, yeah I was gonna show you something else that I painted today now I really like the thing with the trees and the eyes today I've started to do another test with my last matchbox I did this now I'm gonna go over this with green with different kind of green colors and maybe a bit of gold uh, I used eggshells it's really hard to get to focus on black like that maybe huh. Um, these are just eggshells and I use the same technique but instead of doing all the stripes uh, or the texture for the wood I pressed in pieces of eggshell now make sure you clean the eggshell properly and let it dry so it's completely dry and clean when you put it on here are the eyes Doo -doo. I painted this <laughs> I really recommend that you try and do your own eyes. It's really, I love it. I absolutely love it. So this will turn out sort of greenish later on. I think I'm going to do a purple one, but I need more matchboxes. <laughs> so first I have to sell, I have like, uh, I think 24 different uh, altered matchboxes. This is matchbox two. Um, so I have loads of matchboxes altered. And... I have a lot of CDs altered. Oh, it won't focus again. Hello. Uh, a lot of CDs that I'm. Um, these are just backgrounds. I'm just. I haven't finished any of them yet. This one was sort of finished, but I didn't like the text, so I'm putting.
putting more gesso on. Uh, I'm also doing this. Hang on a second. Oops, got stuck. This. Uh, I didn't use eyes for this. I just used the clear glass um, cabochons or beads or what do you want to call them. This is an old jar for uh, dried uh, uh, onion soup. Uh, onion soup powder was in this one. And as you can see, I did uh, the wood texture and I also put a stripe of uh, uh, ah, eggshells. Sorry, I'm getting tired now. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do this in wood colors in the brown and I'm going to do this in the green. The same, but I'm going to do the matchbox. I also spent my day doing this. A little fairy door I'm not finished painting I just put the black layer and then I'm gonna go on with the gray and the brown and you know all of that I'm still pondering on what color to make these these are gonna be wood but these I don't know it's a little curls here so this is my little fairy door look at that little handle and this cute huh okay I'm gonna let you guys go now so um, I hope you liked the tutorial and you find it as much fun as I did when you start to make these. Not these, but hang on. These! I hope you're going to start making these yourself because it's quite easy and it's quite fun. And again, if you don't want to make the eyes, you can buy them. I'm sure your craft store has them. And um, you can also buy... Uh, like backgrounds and just glue on on the backside. You don't have to paint the backside of the glass beads. You can glue this paper on, but I really recommend you try and paint them. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. So um, that is it. And if I forget to put in links to some of, of Marta's and some of Yvonne's uh, tutorials, let me know. Just let me know. Um... And I hope I see you at the cafe. Bye bye. Happy crafting guys.